so we had a look at this thing now right just this thing as of now we had a look right and you saw the tcp and udp and http stream so far but not more right we'll bring more case studies like this i'll devote good time over here right detecting sql injection command injection and this right plus in the web also we do have xss detection okay i will start from here one by one one by one okay and i will cover network also we have to do lot more in network also okay so it's not simple uh xss guys if we start off over here right xss right so uh can anybody tell me like uh, cross site scripting is what first of all we need to define what is cross site scripting what happened in this attack although today it will not happen much yes it has come up to rank 7 okay so xss it's a chain attack again xss plus rce right you are trying to achieve rce via xss possible it's a kind of an injection okay now coming back to the types right how many type of xss do we have normally normally how many type of xss we have three types one is reflective right another one is non reflective third one is dom based reflective non reflective or stored or dom based thing we'll practice first of all then i'll bring you the logs and then you can analyze it nicely anywhere in the sim or anywhere in the like logs normal logs i'll give you anything you can easily scan those parts okay uh let me start with this guys generally you will see everywhere everywhere you will see javascript okay alert one and script close okay this is a javascript code right uh you need to have firefox browser with you because chrome will block half of your attack right hphp akinetics even you can take it for the presentation purpose i'll give you more task over it so that you will become more aggressive in understanding first try to understand the attack rate right? why and how it is behaving then you can do hunt okay as you guys know like input validation you can bypass that input validation you can do anywhere for example contact form search bar box anywhere you can play around this with this okay so let us open this thing and you will see there is a search box i will just put the thing over here okay sorry for that i have to put this entire script right i am trying to do that just giving you a small explanation over here okay this way you go and you go right see when i put that script it is alerting one right when i click on okay it will go away everything fine there is no problem even if i write current over here in the search and you will see it will come search for current right that means this is whatever i'm writing it is reflecting over the screen right i will write reflective it will be just reflecting the things okay it will just reflecting the things it will find it will go away there is no problem at all okay i'll showcase you i'll give you two part right and i'll give you the prevention thing also so we have OWASP xss filter evasion over here filter evasion cheat sheet this is how any attacker is actually trying to bypass the thing have a look right there are different ways of writing this vector different different ways for example you can call this thing on a mouse over event mouse over means you take the mouse to a particular location or to a particular link pop-up will be there image tag as i told you image tag alert okay character encoding see this is the way that you bypass the firewalls this is the way that you bypass the ids ips okay you can see this has been edited by abdullah Hussam, right you can see this one this is a good thing right then uh, on you can see this one see encoding all encoding going on html character encoding see 
but what will be the output the output will be same the alert box over here the alert thing okay then you will see over here uh, there are good things over here right this is how people define it so we have this body on load see this thing this is how signatures are bypassed this is how people are playing up okay on body on load and everything is encoded double encoding techniques people are using that too okay so you all can have a look at this i'll share you this part i'll share you this part there you go okay plus now how you want to practice first thing is just one thing right this is the filter evasion cheat sheet plus let's suppose you want to give some 10 recommendation right or some best practices you want to see you can see the OWASP prevention cheat sheet also cross site scripting prevention how you can prevent the framework security whether it is uh, wordpress magento zoomla drupal okay all these things are written over here or like you are doing advanced php php coding over here you can have a look at it since we are not coders right we can give some recommendations since i am considering we are threat hunters right we are not coders over here right but if you have knowledge i would say that's a plus point for you plus two plus three for you so you can like fight at a very good level in terms of security right secure coding by the way okay uh, but whenever a poc or something is maintained you need to give references you can take the example over here okay so you can have a look at it over here i am writing and i will format it right i have to format this thing okay so have a look and this is the link filter evasion okay now we have to do some task guys okay we have to prove we have to learn first right so <clears throat> let's have a look over here okay this is there right so let's suppose if we talk in terms of uh, offensive things right how people are actually creating this phishing campaigns right so if i ask you this right there are two three things which we know and which we need about it okay so we'll start from here a b c d i'll just write some points right for you right what all things we require for a phishing campaign guys because it might be like you want to do a setup right because email come to you web technology email or link or something right so we need to have a catchy domain i guess we need to have an ssl we need to have a mail server right we need to have a mail server then you need to have a email template okay and uh, we'll we'll check around right we'll check around what all things we require and uh, email template is required and bulk email is required for it okay bulk email set okay so first of all guys uh domain from where we can actually gather or gather similar domains and then buying out the domain how it is being done anybody because this hunt or this thing fishing is something which will come up to you even if you have a security control in hand with you okay godaddy we can purchase the domain the harvester is the tool you can check the possibilities with that in kali linux the harvester is the tool okay in kali linux the harvester is the tool where you can check all the possibilities of a domain you can purchase domain over here there is no problem and the technique which people are using is known as typo squatting hdfcbank.net also instead of com 
i can create some educational domains right that is also possible edu domains nowadays you have biz domain you have dot com there are a lot of fancy extensions that comes up over here right so that's a technique rewriting the domain that you believe like it is original that's it is why everyone will say okay carefully look at the domain whenever you are opening an email to the recipient domain a carefully see that okay for ssl guys what all things we can use we can use let's encrypt over here okay mail server i told you you can use irid server over here you can set up a irid server there is no problem okay for email template what you will use let me showcase you something have you guys seen this logo somewhere this monkey logo if you use yahoo mail gmail you have 100% seen this thing you guys register to subscription letters right whenever you have a blog or something these subscription things it maintain okay now what you guys can do is you can use this thing to create some email templates for you you can maintain up a huge list over here there is no problem good email list you can do and you can shoot out the mail to good number of people at one go for free okay so mailchimp you can refer it over here there is no problem okay now another another big task that we have in front of us is bulk email setup if you purchase google suit you can send a good number of emails right 2000 3000 per day but if you are a normal user right 100 to 150 is restricted over there i am saying i am taking a range if you have an older account you will have more scope but if you create an account 100 is the size that you can send in one go okay now we have an organization in front of us we have 2000 to 3000 employees always okay if you are doing spear phishing if you are doing phishing on a mass scale you have to shoot to a lot of people right so in that case you need to have a bulk email setup similarly when you talk about outlook right outlook o365 subscription that we use in our corporate we have 5 tb storage 7 tb storage of the inbox we have these kind of things right you cannot flood those things easily okay bulk email i want to send to 2000 to 3000 people how will i send that you have to bypass those things right so if anybody heard of elastic mails this thing you can use again free again free okay you can send it to 2000 people there is no problem in that through it okay and to manage the entire thing right to maintain the entire thing over here you need to have a framework right you need to have a framework like gofish okay like kingfisher this thing sorry for that so there you go kingfisher and gofish you can check with me guys these are open source thing you just need to configure this thing over the server whatever server you are using you can use uh, like aws also you can use gcp also whatever you want to use you can use that there is no problem this is how a proper phishing this is one way of doing those things so it will tell you like from where where people have click the links over here or how many number of people clicked on it how many number of people have uh, entered their credential uh, two-factor authentication it also have that capability right uh, geolocation you can fetch even this one is also good you can launch up the campaign very nicely over here. very nicely over here. okay so if you see the entire cost right it's almost normal just you need to have a good machine or i would say a good server to set it up and your things will be there in front of you right the reason i tell you all these things is 
if i give you any task of analyzing this kind of hunting right fishing hunting you basically you will be analyzing the header right but in real time situation is how the people are attacking and these attacks will not stop will not stop people find another way now you can take it like advanced level over here like you everybody can uh, encrypt a payload send it to you pdf file how these things are made that is a separate part but this is something which is very common very common in corporates right okay so all these things if you see apart from the domain right rest everything is open source irate server mailchimp elastic mail go fish kingfisher all things are there on the thing okay you have seen which you have showcased me right so http request header 